This is the Yorkim 4-pack 578 type automotive festoon LED bulbs. Let's take it out of the box. In the box you get the bulbs themselves and a little pry bar tool type thing you can see right there. It's sort of like a big flat blade screwdriver. Handy that it's plastic um, to get into the trim pieces that you would likely need to remove in order to install these bulbs. In my particular application I think this is actually a little too wide for that so I'm going to use a regular screwdriver. The bulbs themselves are right here. They are LED of course and you can see that there are 16 LEDs on each bulb. Another thing is the back is all heat sink material so that way there won't be a problem with heat buildup because it'll be able to vent that out uh, properly. These lights are 6500K, so sort of that really bright white, sort of like people that have those uh, LED headlights, and they are 400 lumens. These bulbs also have no polarity, so that means that when you put it in, you can put it in this way or this way, and it shouldn't matter which way, which is positive and negative. So now we'll go and take this out to the car and install it. This car is a 2003 Toyota Camry. Any of these Camrys that have this style, in other words, what this plastic thing and the switch and all that, that look like this, are probably going to take the same bulb, and it should be the same throughout all of the different uh, trim lines that they have. This bulb is going to fit a multitude of different vehicles. It's really just a, a, a very um, plain bulb. Uh, common bulb I should say uh, in terms of that so fairly common and easy to replace the first thing I'm going to do is move the switch on this to the off position so this way we have no power going to the bulb just so we can be safe about it now you can use that tool it came with if you want on this car like I said the area that I have which is right here is a little slot I'm going to use a plain old flat blade screwdriver and just go up in there and you're just going to pry and I like to hook my fingernail under it over here and it pops out. There's a little tab right here which is what holds it in. Once you get that open you can maneuver this out of the way and it'll just hang there like that. Now you have to get the old bulb out may be tough to do, may be tough to grab, so you can use a little pair of uh, pliers like this to grab it. And pull the bulb out. You can also use a uh, little screwdriver. I might try that. That might work a little bit better to kind of pry out this way. There we are. We're well on our way to coming out now. Well, this bulb fell apart, probably due to its age, but no big deal. It's all good. And we'll set that aside. Now we take the new Yorkin bulb and we go and just push that up into the connectors. We'll just point it straight up and down, test it, it works. I'll go over to the door position, open the door, yes, whoops, shut it, now it has maybe a 10 second delay or so, so we'll just wait for that, and this car sort of dims the light out in steps, so we should see that, and there it goes, now we can take the cover and just feed it back up in there, sort of like that, and minding the clip here that's on that, just pop it back in and you're all set. Now we can test it and that's what it would look like with the uh, new bulb in there. And when I shut it again, about 10 seconds later, it's going to dim out. So here's what the regular incandescent dome light looks like. You have light it's there it's not bad you can see there's the bulb right there 
back seat. I got some junk back here, but it lights up. It's not too bad. Now let's go ahead and put in the LED bulb and see what that can do for us. And now with the new LED bulb installed, very nice. Much brighter, much whiter. Lights everything up really, really nice. You can see now. Gives it a much cleaner look and produces a lot more light. All around, a really nice upgrade. So you can see that installation is very, very easy. You simply pop out the old bulb, pop in the new one. There's no worry about polarity or anything. This was the old incandescent bulb that I took out. And this is what's left of the package to be installed into other sockets at a later time. It's an easy and worthwhile upgrade to modernize the lighting in your vehicle. Once again, this was the Yorkim 578 type automotive festoon LED bulbs in a four pack. If you'd like to purchase this product, I'll leave a link in the video description to the manufacturer's website where you can find the item available for sale. Thanks for watching. Make sure you click like, make sure you click subscribe, and take care. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.